And we begin with a man being rushed to the hospital after a shooting that happened in Coryville. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Cherie Pillow. So police are calling the victim's injuries life-threatening. This all happened right near the intersection of East University Avenue and Bellevue Avenue. And that's where we find WLWT News Science anchor Chris Jacobs. He's live out there on the scene. Chris, what have you learned? Anything new so far? Hey, Cherie. Yeah, we're still waiting for a lot of updates in this case, but what we do know a lot of is, is what you mentioned. This did happen in Coryville about 3 p.m. this afternoon at the intersection of Bellevue and Donahue. Let me show you where a lot of this took place. You can see this blue and gray building right over there, and that's where they say this one gunshot took place. This actually is about a half mile away from the UC campus and a half mile away from UC Medical, so a lot of students actually living in this area. But here's what we do know about the case. One shot was fired and struck a person, so that victim is actually facing life-threatening injuries right now. They're being treated at UC Medical. That was the only shot that appears to have been fired. We did actually obtain some ring video that appears to show the moment that happened. Now, police are asking for any more ring video or any other security video to help with this investigation. We spoke with a couple of students earlier. They say they're pretty worried about the situation right now because this did happen in the middle of the day. And again, it happened at 3 p.m. We spoke with one neighbor about how he feels living just a few homes down. I feel comfortable here. I hear plenty of people saying how they don't feel that this is that comfortable of an area, that safe of an area to be in. but. I've never really had a problem with it, never really felt too uncomfortable walking to and from class, being out here around at, at night, stuff like that. But now that this happened in the middle of the day, that is, uh, you know, red flag kind of going off in my head for sure. Again, this did happen in broad daylight, so you can imagine a lot of the worry from some of the students living in this area. But right now what we're seeing is more law enforcement is showing up. A crime scene unit just got here about 20 minutes ago or so. Uh, we don't know about the victim. Uh, we don't know about the suspect in terms of what led to this incident or uh, may maybe what led to the gunfire that erupted earlier today. But police, they say they are still looking for that gunman. Again, they're asking for any ring video, any security camera footage that could help with their investigation. But we'll keep you updated on any developments in this case as they're made available to us. Reporting in Coryville, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.